Hi everyone. Well, it's been a long 4th of July weekend, but I've got to get back to work today. So I am putting together a vegetable soup, throwing it all in my crock pot so when I get home from work today, it's going to be done and I won't have to cook dinner. Um, anyway, I've got everything kind of prepped and ready to go. Just thought I'd show you how I do this. I started off with two cups of really hot water. I just um, put it in the microwave for a few minutes, got it really good and hot. That'll really help speed up the cooking time a little bit. And let me show you what I've got chopped up here. Let's see, I have um, about three big um, sprouts of uh, cauliflower chopped up, about three uh, good sized mushrooms, about three ribs of celery, one extra large sweet potato, and two good sized leaves of kale chopped up, one small red pepper, and one half of a large white onion. Uh, my spice mixture. There's my spice mixture, if you want to call it that. Um, I have one tablespoon of brown sugar, which might sound strange to some people, but it really makes the vegetable soup. Uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic and one tablespoon of the vegetable bouillon. This is the brand that I've been that I've been getting, the Better Than Bouillon Vegetable Base. It's really good. A little high in sodium, so if you're watching your salt intake, you might want to, um, you know, use less of that. And then I, I like as a kind of an all-around spice, I like to use this. This is Everglades seasoning, and I, I use it in a lot of different things. Um, just a small amount of this, about a teaspoon is all I put in there. And let me just rinse my beans here. I forgot to do that. I'm putting in one can of the uh, dark red kidney beans. And this is a pretty large can. This is uh, 19 ounces. And then I'll be adding, I'm not sure if I'll use this entire can or not, it's just Hunt's crushed tomatoes. You could use diced tomatoes or um, you could eat, if you don't have either of those, you could always just put in a can of, one of the small cans of tomato paste and that'll make it taste really good too. Just make sure you add some sort of tomato in there. Okay, and you're just pretty much going to dump it all in there. I won't even try to do it gracefully because there's no easy way to do it. Honestly, usually I, I chop things up and I put them in as I go. I only do it this way so I can show you all my ingredients. Uh, but really, if you, um, you know, like chop your onion, throw it in there, chop your sweet potato, throw it in there, it's a little easier. But there's nothing like a good vegetable soup to get you going for the week. And I'll have this for dinner tonight when I get home. And then I'll have it for lunch tomorrow and probably the next day as well. Um, it'll make a good six servings in this big crock pot. You could do this in your instant pot or pressure cooker as well. Um, if you're from home and you're pressed for time, um, that's a good way to do it. There's just something about when I get home from work, walking in that door and smelling dinner all ready to go. I just so I've got all the vegetables there in. Now I'm going to add my uh, can of beans. And then just about, we'll just kind of play this by ear. Use about half the can of crushed tomatoes first. For whatever reason, I always like to use a wooden spoon with this. I'm gonna dump my little spices in here. I did not put any salt and pepper in this. I generally wait till I, um, till I get home and then use the salt and pepper at that time. I just want to stir that up really, really good. I 
and you know after this cooks for about five hours or so everything starts cooking down a little bit so it won't be nearly as as full as it is right now and I am going to add just a little bit of frozen mixed vegetables to the batch And that's just another, I would say about another cupful of some frozen vegetables, primarily uh, green beans, carrots, corn, and some peas. And that'll just add a little bit more color. And I'm just going to add a little bit more water. And a little bit more of the crushed tomatoes. So almost that whole can crushed tomatoes. Gosh, it smells good even uncooked with everything raw and frozen. The garlic helps with that. Then I like to place one large bay leaf in there, and as that cooks down, that will be right there in the fluid, and we'll give it a real nice flavor. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to Put this lid on and I'll be back home oh in about six seven hours I'll give it another quick stir and maybe add a few more spices in after I taste it and see if it needs anything but um, that's pretty easy huh hi guys well it's been about seven and a half hours now since I was here and the great thing is walking in that door and smelling that delicious soup and I know it's all ready. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks perfect. Uh, let me give you a close-up look here. There it is, my sweet potato vegetable soup, simmered all day in the crock pot, easy peasy. You know, the, the toughest part about it, of course, was, um, you know, just cutting up those veggies, and that's really not so hard You get used to that. I should have probably used my chopper this morning, my Vidalia chopper, if I had thought about it, I'd have used that. Let me just have a little taste here. It's super hot. Get a little bit of that sweet potato in there because that's my favorite part. And if you don't like sweet potatoes, you can just use some gold potatoes would be really good in it. Um, and that's what I used to always put in it. But just recently, the last few times I made it, I used the sweet potatoes instead. And oh, it's so good. I think especially with that one tablespoon of brown sugar in that whole pot of soup, I mean, it adds very minimal calories, but it adds a really good flavor to it mixed with that, you know, tomato sauce. It's really delicious. Mm. Yeah. Love good soup. See you guys later.